Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 27, 2021, Wednesday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, And people will come from the east and the west and will recline at table in the kingdom of God. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit. Because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined he also called. And those he called he also justified. And those he justified he also glorified. Responsorial Psalm My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Look, answer me, O Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes that I may not sleep in death. Lest my enemy say, I have overcome him. Lest my foes rejoice at my downfall. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Though I trusted in your mercy. Let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Let me sing of the Lord, he has been good to me. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Alleluia, Alleluia. God has called us through the Gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Luke. Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, We ate and drank in your company and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. When you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out, and people will come from the east and the west, and from the north and the south, and will recline at table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. Reflection Will only a few be saved? The man was interested in discussing salvation, whereas Jesus was interested in his soul. Rather than discussing the number to be saved, he ought to have been concerned if he would be part of that number. Hence Jesus exhorts him to strive to enter by the narrow door rather than engage in mere discussion. It is what we do, that will count in the end, and not what we discuss. We will be judged, not according to the insight of our theology, but according to the depth of our charity. The Lord will identify us on the last day by our good deeds and not just by our fine talk or big degrees. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.